Hi. In this tutorial, we will look at the Google Calendar configuration for the Amelia WordPress booking plugin. Why use it? All your employees will be able to sync their working schedule with their Google Calendar. Each booked appointment will be automatically reflected in their calendar. What are the client ID and client secret? There are some steps you need to take before you can integrate Amelia with Google Calendar. First, you have to create the client ID and the client secret. In order to do so, go to the Google Developers Console. There, you would need to create a new project. To do that, you need to click on the Select a Project drop-down menu at the top. Here, you need to click on the New Project button. Provide a name for your new project and click on the Create button. Wait until your project is created and click on the Select a Project drop-down menu again and click on your newly created project. Now, you need to enable the Google Calendar API. You can do that by clicking on the Enable APIs and Services button. Search for the Google Calendar API. Click on it, and then click on the Enable button. Under the Credentials section, click on the Credentials in APIs and Services link. Choose OAuth Consent Screen, and under Authorized Domains, add your website domain. Go to the Credentials tab. Click on the Create Credentials button and Help Me Choose option. In the first step, select the Google Calendar API, Web Browser, JavaScript, and User Data. Now, click on What Credentials Do I Need? Next, add a name in your OAuth Client ID and in the Authorized Redirect URIs. Add the URI from the Redirect URI field you'll find the Redirect URI field in the Google Calendar Settings dialog on the Amelia Settings page. Click on the Create OAuth Client ID button. In the third Set Up the OAuth 2.0 Consent Screen step, add a product name shown to users and click on the Continue button. In the last step, click on the I'll Do This Later button and click on the newly created credentials. Add Client ID and Client Secret to related fields in the Google Calendar Settings dialog. After that, you or your employees will be able to connect Google Calendar with Amelia. That can be done from the Employee Edit dialog. Now that you know how to do this process, let's look over some terms you'll have to deal with. The Redirect URI is a read-only field that you should add to Authorized Redirect URIs field. It should be done in the process of creating a Google project. The Insert Pending Appointments option allows appointments with a pending status to be added to the employee's calendars. Another useful option is called Add Events Attendees. This option allows your employees to see customers that will attend the appointment. You can also share an event with customers by adding them as attendees. This action adds the event to their calendar. We're moving on to the Send Event Invitation Email option. If enabled, this sends an invitation email to customers. This option can be enabled only if the Add Events Attendees option is turned on. Remove Google Calendar Busy Slots With the help of this option, you can remove busy slots in the employee's calendars. Time slots will be removed from an employee's Amelia calendar when there is an event set in his or her Google Calendar. This only works if the events in Google Calendar are set as busy. Maximum number of events returned. Curious what this does? With it, you can set the maximum number of events that will be returned from the employee's Google Calendar to the Amelia Calendar. These events will not be visible. However, they will affect the number of available time slots in the Amelia Calendar. How to connect employees with their Google accounts. Once you've set everything, there is one more thing to set on the employee's side. Each employee should log in and connect to their Google Calendar. Only in this case, this synchronization could work. All they need to do is open the employee dialog. There, they need to click on the button beside the Google Calendar option. They will be redirected to choose their Google account. Once this is done, they will be back on their profile in the Amelia plugin. If the account is successfully connected, the button should change the color from blue to red. After that, they would need to pick a specific Google Calendar from their account that they would like to synchronize. There's one more thing we should mention regarding the two-way Google synchronization. For it to work properly, your employees should set the status of the events in their calendars as busy. 
In that way, time slots occupied by those events will be removed from their Amelia calendar. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out these other tutorials that we've created for the Amelia Appointment Booking plugin. And if you're enjoying the plugin, please share your experience with it through your social networks. It will help us add new and cool features to the plugin.